What's up, world? Welcome to the Positive Truth, uplifting and positive news of more progressive society. Tim, what we're trying to bring. Here at the Positive Truth, we're trying to bring awareness, empowerment, inspiration, optimism, and understanding to communities everywhere. That's what we do every week here, three times a week at the Positive Truth, where we're bringing uplifting news, fight back the fear, hatred, and bring communities together. I'm JP. This is the Immaculate One. We call him Tim. I like these words. <laughs> <laughs> and we got an awesome, awesome inspirational Monday where we're going to talk about some, what is it, Tim, we're talking about? Some running through sodas. I like that form you just had there, though. If you guys can't watch this, I'm sorry, but you need to. <laughs> Before we get to that, make sure to like, share, subscribe, rate, and review. Helps us out so much. We also have an Instagram, a Twitter, a Facebook page, and a YouTube where we post our audio-visual episodes that come out every Monday and our positive news stories on our Facebook page, at the Positive Truth Podcast. All the sharing and liking helps us out so much. If you want some positivity, or your friend does, tell the world about the positive truth. But let's inspire some people with some running stories. Dude, I'm excited for this. This is like, I've been trying to do this for like three years now, so let's go. <laughs> Don't act like we've been holding back your running stories, too. Touche. <laughs> but yours is pretty awesome, so let's start with yours. All right, man, mine is, I do like mine a lot. When I saw it, I was like, oh, I got to talk about it. And JP was like, nope, we're going to wait. We're gonna talk about this today because we're we got some running stories and this is where we're at. We're talking about a 48 year old mother from Vienna, Virginia, and she did something that anybody that's ever ran in high school, middle school, and elementary school ran more than a mile. Like you imagine running in the Olympics, she qualified for the Olympic trials in 2020 at 48 years old. She's a mother of three, she's a wife, and she just did something crazy. Her name is Perry Shoemaker. And she started competitive running, like on a serious level as an adult in 2011. It's only eight years ago. At 40, decided, you know what? I'm pretty good at this. Her husband thought she was so good. He hired a professional coach for her. Kids were real supportive. Husband's real supportive. She's going out there getting better and better and better. Then all of a sudden she crossed the finish line and she realized she qualified for the Olympic trials. She How fast is she running? Two at? hours, 43 minutes and what? 33 seconds. Let's go. What's your fastest marathon, Tim? Dude, I haven't completed one. That's my point. Like, she's out here doing things, like, at 48 that my 30-year-old self is like, yeah, Tim, your feet are giving out after mile 12 right now. Like, it's time to sit down. The fact that she's able to do this, it's like, I love that quote, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. And it's like, yo, <laughs> at 40, she picked this up. Not that 40 is old or 48 is old, but she picked this sport up at 40. You got 16-year-old kids, 15-year-old kids, 13-year-old kids, 20-year-old kids yeah. out here running in their prime. They're it, they're, they have nothing else and better to do her. and she's raising a family <laughs> like she's holding her household together and she's out here running marathons faster than the average man of course it's ridiculous i mean that's crazy man <sighs> that's an eight minute pr right for her yeah huge pr which is awesome i mean once you get a professional coach it's time <laughs> definitely gonna drop some time yeah that's crazy man so shout out to shoemaker Dude, i have an inspirational awesome. story about running too though i'm excited about this one too Ooh. so her name is anya so See one this. Yeah, good job, Tim. Yeah. <laughs> and she's a high school athlete from Arkansas. And on in October first, she came home and she couldn't get in her house. That's not good. Yeah, of course not. And then her mom was like, "Yeah, I haven't been paying the bills, and so I'm out." So we left her with her sisters and her nephew by Sad. herself, senior in high school. So she's like, "Oh, this sucks." She called her track coach. Your track coach, Tim. She's like. I'm homeless, I have no clothes, I don't know what to do. So she basically went crap, took her sister's nephew, went couch surfing, then she got a job, then she got an apartment, she's paying bills, and she's like, I'm in high school, and it's like, I'm an adult now. Like, I'm not like these everyone around me. Like, right. They can just slack off for a day, I can't slack off for a second, because I have to pay these bills, and I have to go to class. And she was like, the only place I had peace was running. She was like, they say you can't run away from your problems, but I sure was. I was running my <laughs> 10 miles. Like, it's therapeutic, man. People don't realize it. And she was like, I was literally running from my problems because it was the only place I felt safe. It was the only place I could get away. And she got so good, college started looking into her, and she got a full ride scholarship to the University of, holy lost it, the Ozarks. And man, that's just awesome. Just overcoming so much from October 1st to May, just like that crash and build back up and just having that sort of opportunity and overcoming it. 
and she said that's just her her coach said that's her heart somebody tells her she can't do something she's gonna prove she you that she can I knew you were a track coach. You would love this. Dude, I love that story. Amazing. I know the college, too. They're a really good cross-country school. I believe they're NAI on top of that. Like, that's amazing. For I, her. I, don't know I know, mean. man. It's all good. I just know. <laughs> like, that's that's amazing. Like, Anya, that, the story is amazing, and it's inspiring because I deal with a lot of kids that come from backgrounds similar to that. Maybe not to that extent. Parents gone and having to raise your kids. and But I know a lot of kids that have to become adults at a young age like i'm not like everybody else i have responsibilities and the fact that somebody's getting national attention anya c fuentes she's doing an amazing job like i that's it brings hope to my heart that these other kids out here can hear her story so they can realize they can do it too and i know she didn't do everything she did to inspire others but i'm glad that somebody has her story online where we can talk about it here because she definitely inspired just me as a coach like making sure i get to my kids and like look look what anya did you know what i mean and they don't know who she is. <laughs> they don't know where she's from. They don't they know what she's now. about. Exactly. She will be remembered now. Absolutely. See, that's she overcame homelessness. We got a forty-eight-year-old mother overcoming. Just, you can do anything if you set your mind to it. Just a little bit of running. So you know, I'm not gonna be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> big facts. Big facts. But you can do anything. You might not be running, but you can set if you set your mind to it. You can definitely get there, Tim. This, is, this episode will be a 10 out of 10 if you have a running quote. I do, Steve Prefontaine. I was about to like look for a quote, and I'm like, wait a minute. I'm a runner. I got this. Steve Prefontaine, one of his favorite quotes, one of my favorite quotes by him is, I don't run to see who's the fastest. I run to see who has the most guts. I really like that one. That was what I went by as a freshman in high school, for sure. Well, Mrs. Shoemaker and Anya definitely have the most guts. Hopefully, they inspire you all today. This is Inspirational Monday. We'll be back Wednesday with six more positive news stories. Until then. We're out. Stay positive.